In this video, we're going to have a look at how to set your favorite colors on the user interface when working on a Mac. Please bear in mind that this will change the settings for all of your projects, but you can easily revert to the default colors anytime you want. First, let's look at the editing window. Not everyone will care about this, but if you work at your computer for hours at a time, it's good to customize your workspace with a background paper color that will be easy on your eyes. Physical paper produces color by absorbing and reflecting ambient light, giving you less eye strain, whilst screens produce color by emitting direct light straight into your eyes, which is why they are more tiring to read, especially at full contrast. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert the default white paper background in the editor to a softer, creamy color. Of course, the same instructions apply if you want to set your editor background to any color you want. In the main menu, go to Scrivener, Preferences, and open up the Appearances tab. In the Customizable Colors box, choose Editor. Choose Text Background from the selection tree that comes up for the editor. Click inside the Text Background color well to bring up the Colors palette. In the Colors palette, most times the color wheel will pop up and you can pick a color from it by clicking anywhere inside the wheel. Notice how I can see my color update in the editor as I choose new colors. To gain more control over your colors, or to make tiny adjustments, switch to the sliders by clicking on the sliders icon at the top of the colors palette. Then adjust the values very slightly by moving the sliders or typing into the value boxes. The color you have set previews in the box with the magnifying glass, but you can also see what it's going to look like in the editing window. Return to the default colors anytime by clicking on the Use Default Color button immediately below the color well. Now let's see how we can change the background color of your binder. Still in the Customizable Colors box, choose Views. Note that you now have different choices in the selection tree. Choose Binder Background and go through the same steps that you did for the Editor background. Click in the color well choose the sliders, adjust your values. You can save your color by dragging it into the little grid at the bottom here. You'll notice that the header of the binder already has a preview of your new color. And as soon as you switch back to your project, the rest of your binder will reflect your new color. Now just for fun, I think I'll go in and change the color of my document notes container to match the color of my binder. I'll choose Editor, Notes Background, click inside the color well, and then select the color that I saved for my binder from the little grid. Now that you know how to do it, you can go through the rest of the options and see what else you want to customize.